Coming up in this video. We're visiting the tourist attractions in La Union for coral formations, mangroves, seaside picnics, and hiking. Yeah, hiking! In the beach capital of Northern Philippines, the province of La Union. We'll give you the full details of what to expect in these tourist spots and share with you some great tips so you can be sure you'll have the best time. So first, we visit the most unlikely tourist attraction in Bawang La Union. Hiking up to the highest peak of Bawang, Mount Kabugbugan. There are many ways to get to the start of the hiking trail. For us, we follow the directions of the Google Maps. And it led us to a one-way, twisting road up to the Barangay's basketball court. Here is where we parked and started our hike. But, according to the locals, there is another hiking trail to the top and also an easier drive for four-wheel cars to get to. You'll have to go through Barangay Guerrero and its entrance can be spotted through some signs that the local government put up. So make sure you look out for these signs. But back to where we were, there was some confusion as to where this hiking trail begins. So we just parked our car and unfortunately there are no signage where is the start of the trail. So we decided to ask the locals and surprisingly, this is the start of the trail, uh, some residential area. So let's start the hike. Thanks to the friendly and helpful locals, we were able to start our hike. And there were even adorable piglets and cows to wish us good luck. Soon after passing the fields, our climb to the top began. So after a 20 to 30 minutes of hiking, we have arrived in the first clearing and this is not the, the highest peak yet, it's like the second summit so if you're tired, you can relax, sit down and enjoy the view before going to the um, real summit. It was already an amazing view when we were at the lower summit of Mount Kabugbugan and it got us really excited to see the 360 views of its peak. So we have arrived in the highest peak of Mount Kabugbugan. The 360 view is absolutely amazing. You can see the mountains and towards the west, you can see the Bawang River leading to the west Philippine Sea. If you're here in the summit, you can feel the fresh breeze. It's also picturesque and you can take beautiful photos with this great amazing view. Now that we've shown you the mountain park of Bawang, we're driving for 20 minutes back up north to visit Bakawan Eco Park to see protected mangroves and marine sanctuary in Bawang. So we're here at Bawang, Bakawan Eco Park. Bakawan means mangrove. It features the interesting train of La Union and all these streams leads to the beach, Bawang Beach. I hope to explore it because it's very nice here. And I hope to see all kinds of animals here. I saw a tiny right there that there's turtles here. So I hope, I really hope. So let's go, let's explore the place. The Bawang Bakawan Eco Park was first developed by the provincial government and has now been turned over to the municipality of Bawang. So according to their friendly staff, they are still waiting on the decision of the local government about entrance fees. So we only needed to write down our names on their visitor's logbook and we were good to go. Upon entering Bakawan Eco Park, I didn't expect it to be like this beautiful. There's a lot of um, different kinds of plants, trees, and the wooden bridge is the very special part of this eco park. If you want to ride the boat, you can actually ride the boat going to the beach. I hope to see wildlife in here because there's a lot of signs that it's a marine protected area. If you really enjoy nature, it's a good place to visit while in La Union. In the marine protected area, local fishermen stage their boats here because this river that courses through the eco park 
actually leads to the West Philippine Sea. But we were told by the staff that the local government plans to soon open the area for bamboo rafting for tourists to enjoy. So after walking for 10 minutes around the Echo Park, we've arrived in the middle of the mangrove area. And there's a hut in the middle of the stream. There's no turtle yet. It's a little bit disappointing, but you know, it's fine. Hopefully, before we leave here, it's almost getting dark anyways. We hope to see a turtle or crab or a toad. <laughs> Coming up, a unique experience at Imuki Island and a secret paradise in the heart of San Fernando. But before we go to our next spot, let's take a walk at Poor Point Bay Walk. Let's check it out! Open from 6 in the morning until 9 at night, the Poor Point Bay Walk was developed to be an open park for family picnics, recreational exercise, and relaxation. The first thing I notice here is the wide open space of Baywalk and the white sand beach where you can hang out with your friends and take a look at the San Fernando Bay. Ships coming in and out. There's picnic tables where you can hang out, bring your food, hang out with your family and friends. Fortunately, the government haven't maintained it as much, but it's okay. Still okay, it's fine, it's free. While you're at Puro Point Baywalk, don't miss visiting the Puro Point Lighthouse. This coastal landmark is a popular site for joggers and bikers. So after driving 3 to 4 minutes from Puro Point Baywalk, we're now at Puro Point Lighthouse. Don't miss out to take uh, beautiful photos for your socials. Now let's travel to the south to visit the biggest nature park in the whole La Union province. The Ago Eco Park was designed to cater to families looking to have a picnic under the trees or by the seaside. With food stalls ready to cater to visitors, you can have a great day filled with nature, food, and relaxation for less than 200 pesos. We are now at Ago Eco Park and this place is massive. We're here under the pine trees and it's very cool, it's very romantic and it's like some of those K-drama series and movies. Across is the ocean and where you can swim, take a dip and go back. This is a great place to relax. Now we're off to Malawan La Union at the popular Imuki Island and experience La Union's biggest coral formations. It's really easy to drive to the island thanks to online maps and to our surprise, there were plenty of local officers and highway patrols along the way to specially help visitors. When we got there, we were pleased to find plenty of parking spaces and souvenir shops at the entrance. With warm welcomes from the staff, you can easily tell everyone appreciates the attention the island is getting. That's why the island is well maintained and well protected by the locals. So here we are at the entrance of Imuki Island here at Balawan La Union. Come with me, let's explore and walk around and see what makes Imuki Island unique. So let's go!
Our experience of the coral formations at Imuki Island were great, but it left us wanting to see more. And that led us to Giddai Beach, a coral oasis right in the heart of San Fernando. The seafloor at Giddai Beach is home to corals, seaweeds, and all kinds of shell life. However, when we got to the beach right after the busy Holy Week, the natural beauty of Giddai Beach was ruined by trash and plastic left by visitors. But despite all this, you can't deny how stunning its clear waters are and how amazing the coral formations are in this small cove. Our visit to Giddai Beach really made us appreciate the efforts of the government and even the local residents in preserving our beaches and nature parks. So as tourists, let's make sure we join their efforts in keeping these great parks clean. It's amazing that we get to enjoy hiking, picnics, and many more all right here in the coastal province of La Union. Plenty of people come here for the sand and sea. But now you know, La Union has so much to offer. Thank you for watching our complete travel guide to La Union's parks. If you want all the details of the different spots we visited in this video, we posted ultimate travel guides per location on our channel. So share this video with your friends to make your next trip exciting. Or better yet, subscribe to our channel.